What's up everybody, Brian here with BPS Customs. Today we're just gonna do a really short video on how to clone a hard drive. Now I know this is a topic that a lot of other tech people have tackled on YouTube, but this is something that I actually need to do for my own personal computer. Uh, so I figured I would film it, show you how it's done, because uh, I know that there's some people out there who aren't familiar with the process and who probably need to upgrade the amount of space that they have available. So the reason that I need to uh, clone my hard drive and uh, expand the amount of storage I have available to me is when I built this rig, uh, I actually didn't build it with the goal of storing uh, massive amounts of fairly large video files. Um, the system was built, um, it was built originally, it was supposed to be just kind of a gaming system. Uh, then I started to do YouTube and I was like, well, you know, I'm not gonna do it for that long. I'm not gonna have a lot of large video files. I was shooting basically on my iPhone all the time. You know, then I got some video equipment and I got some sound equipment and I'm, I decided to kind of take it a little bit more seriously. And as a result, I have now quite a bit of uh, video stored on this machine. And you know, that's not an uncommon scenario, not to say that most people are gonna be involved in YouTube, but a lot of times, you know, you underestimate the amount of space you need for whatever reason. Uh, a lot of times, you know, people have a lot of pictures or they're into games and they have, you know, 20 games installed in their machine and whoops, all of a sudden, uh, they're out of space. If you're just looking to upgrade without adding additional hardware, you want to keep the same configuration that you have, what you want to do is you want to clone your existing drive, which copies all the data from that drive to the new drive, exactly the way it is now, including operating system, uh, and then just replace the old drive with the new drive uh, of higher capacity. In my case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from a Western Digital one terabyte drive to a Western Digital four terabyte drive. Uh, these are both mechanical drives. Uh, I have not upgraded all of my storage yet to SSD. I'm going to just stick with mechanical drives for now. Uh, I have a Western Digital four terabyte black hard drive, which should serve me well for, I would say, probably at least a couple years. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to clone our drive from the one terabyte drive to the four terabyte drive, swap the hard drives, and then boot the system with the new drive in place. All right, so the first thing that you have to do when cloning a hard drive is to connect it to the system with the old hard drive still in place. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to get down into the guts of this Evolve ATX chassis as the hard drive cage is actually uh, mounted at the bottom in the uh, little basement area um, and it's only accessible through the back panel. Uh, so we're going to have to open up the back panel and uh, let everybody see the uh, nasty wiring situation that's going on here. It's actually not that bad. Uh, but we're going to get down here, we're going to uh, connect the new hard drive up and then boot the system back up with both hard drives still connected uh, at the same time. So we're running into a little bit of a snag here. Uh, so I have the hard drive here. I have the SATA Dable cable here, which I've snaked through this grommet and connected to the motherboard. Uh, off camera I did that, it took a little while to maneuver around all the, uh, the tubing and uh, very specifically placed cables and whatnot. But I'm having a problem with power. Now the SATA power cable that, uh, that powers the, the existing hard drive which is down here, runs off the power supply to uh, the hard drive, which is here, and then it runs this way and towards the front of the case. And the reason it does that is because there is uh, an SSD mounted to the uh, front of the basement of the case um, on, on this side. So the cable has to snake this way and then through the front of the chassis in order to come out the other side and power that cape, uh, power that SSD. So I don't have any connections that are available except for these up here. And I've had the, I have these all zip tied in place and I don't really want to move them. Uh, so what are we going to do? Well, I mean, this is not a permanent solution and this hard drive is not going to stay this way. But because we're not actually mounting this permanently, you really can do anything you want, uh, as long as you're not disturbing the spinning of the platter. Now, don't shake it, don't put it on magnets, don't do anything silly, but if you want to prop it up, you can certainly do that, and that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so I have a box here that 
most people watching my channel will likely be, likely be familiar with. This is a new egg box. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But I have this propped up. It's connected to a power source. It's not, I mean, it's not particularly sturdy, but it's not really going anywhere. Like, I mean, in a, you know, even if it shakes a little bit, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall off. Um, and we only need it to be this way for a little while while it copies the data. Uh, and then we're gonna mount it permanently inside the chassis. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clone this hard drive. Now, as you just saw, uh, the new hard drive is plugged in. Uh, it is plugged in with the other hard drive still connected to the system. Uh, but as you can see in Windows Explorer, the new hard drive does not show. Now, this is my primary disk. This is the Samsung 850 uh, SSD. Uh, this is the current hard drive that's installed, which is the Western Digital 1 uh, terabyte drive but you don't see the third one, uh, which is the Western Digital 4 terabyte drive. Uh, and that's because right now it's unpartitioned. Uh, it's basically just four uh, terabytes of unallocated space connected to the system. No worries though, um, the software we're gonna use, uh, which is uh, Macrium Reflect, this is a free disk cloning utility and right here is listed the, uh, the new drive. Uh, so it's uh, it's not a problem. The, you don't have to format it. You don't have to partition it or anything like that. Uh, the software does see it. Uh, Macrium does offer this on their website. This is a free utility. Uh, they do offer paid versions as well with a lot more functionality. Uh, but for our purposes, this is what we're going to use. So this is the drive we want to clone. This is the uh, the one terabyte drive. So um, I'm going to clone it. So what you do is you select it, right, and then you hit clone this disk. This, uh, this dialog pops, box pops up uh, and you hit select a disk to clone to. We're going to clone it to disk 3, which is the 4 terabyte unallocated space, and you hit next. Uh, you don't, we don't want to schedule this, uh, so we're just going to hit next to skip. So this is all the information about the stuff, the, about the tribes that you are cloning from and cloning to. Uh, it tells you what it's going to be doing, and then you hit finish. So it asks you when you want to do it. Uh, obviously we want to do this now. And do we want to save backups? Um, no, not right now. Um, we're not looking to, uh, to have a regular backup of this drive. We just want to clone it. Uh, so we're going to hit OK. And it's going. All right, so we're all done. Uh, we are all cloned. Uh, now I rebooted the system. System is, uh, is up and running. Now both hard drives are installed right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that everything clones successfully. Uh, you remember that we had a C before and we had a D before, but we did not have a G before. Uh, e and F actually, these are um, cameras that I have hooked up to my system right now. So these are just basically functioning as like flash storage. But, but C, D, and G are all local storage. Uh, G is the new drive. And let's see. It's like four terabytes to me. Uh, so we're going to open up D briefly, and we got all this stuff going on. And we open up the clone drive. And most of the same. What is this? All right, well, it cloned. <laughs> we're good. We got a whole bunch of video files in here, um, games, things of that nature, and that's what I had on this drive. So we're good to go. All right, well, we're all done. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, I think the most important takeaway here is I hear a lot of people discussing this topic as just very simply plugging in a second hard drive and just hitting copy and paste. Uh, it's not that simple. Uh, there are a lot of files that you don't see in your file explorer that need to be copied in order to properly clone a drive. And a piece of software like the Macrium Reflect is perfect for that job. Uh, there are a lot of other soft pieces of software out there. Um, you know, you can do a Google search and find any number of, of, uh, of programs to help you out. Uh, if you wanna pay for your software, you'll probably get some more features included, but for the purposes of just cloning the drive, um, I mean, you really don't need very much. Uh, and there are free utilities out there for, uh, for you to do it. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this video. Get subscribed because we have a lot of interesting content coming. I do have a GTX 1080 on order. I was thinking about ordering a second one and doing some SLI benchmarks. Um, put a thumbs up on this video if you want to see that. That's a maybe. 
Um, and I also have some interesting Doom gameplay uh, that I've been recording uh, with my test bench with various video cards, various processors, and also on my main system, which is uh, two 980 Ti's and a very overclocked 5820K. Uh, I will say that the frame rates that I'm getting are pretty ridiculous and the game is beautiful. So uh, I'm gonna get those videos up and, and running pretty soon. So if you wanna see them, you wanna make sure you don't miss them, get subscribed. Follow me on Twitter, BPS underscore customs. Uh, you can tweet at me or comment on this video down there if, uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions or anything like that. I always love to hear from people. But as always, thanks for watching.